hello folks and welcome to my channel today we are doing the letter z so starting with a slip knot secure the knot on your four millimeter crochet hook and chain 24 once your chain is ready chain one and make a single crochet in the second chain from your hook Make one single crochet in each chain. You will have a total of 24 single crochets. At the end of the row, chain 1 and turn your work. Now in the first two stitches, we make a decrease. Insert your hook on the first stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop. Insert the hook in the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over and pull through all three loops. This is your decrease. Now make 22 single crochets in the next 22 stitches. Now make an increase in the last stitch. Chain 1 and turn your work. Now make an increase in the first stitch. Now make 23 single crochets in the next 23 stitches. Now in the last two stitches we will make a decrease. So insert your hook in the second last stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop. Insert your hook in the last stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop. You have three loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through all three loops. Now we are going to make the bottom part of the letter Z. So chain 12. Chain 1 and make a single crochet in the second chain from the hook. Make one single crochet in each chain. You will have a total of 12 single crochets. Now twist your work sideways so you're attaching to the upper side of your work and make a slip stitch. Now make a slip stitch in the next stitch and turn your work. Now skip the first stitch and make 11 single crochets. At the end of the row chain 1 and turn your work. Now make 10 single crochets and slip stitch to the main part. Slip stitch to the main part and fasten off. We will now make the upper part of the Z so attach a new string. And chain 12. Chain 1 and make 1 single crochet in each chain. You will have a total of 12 single crochets. So turn your work so that you can make a slip stitch towards the sloping side of your work. Now make another slip stitch in the next stitch and turn your work. So skip the slip stitches and the first stitch and make 11 single crochets and you'll reach the end of the row. At the end of the row, chain 1 and turn your work. Make 10 single crochets. Skip the last stitch and make a slip stitch to the main part. Cut off the extra yarn and weave in your ends. So here's the final look of the Z. Place it under some weights to straighten it out. If you like my video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching.